How's it going, everybody? Welcome. We are going over another class unit video. This time, it's going to be the Terror Knight, one of the best, most fun classes, I think, that's in the game. Also, a really great class for denim. If you are curious, other classes that are good for denim, my top three picks that I have, I got a video on that on the channel you can check out. If I had a top four or five, this would be in it. So, what makes a Shadow Knight great? Let's get going. We're going to look at its weapons. Swords, axes, hammers, cudgels, and crossbows. Two-handed sword. So make sure you don't do one-handed. Axes. What's interesting here is axes and hammers. They qualify as one-hand and two-hand, but it is kind of misleading. He can only use uh, two-handed axes, not one-handed. But hammers, he can use one hand and two hand. So just clarify that. And obviously crossbows and a shield if you wanted to. Shield isn't like a restriction generally. So Now now that we get the weapons out of the way, let's look at the skills here. What makes it fun? Well, you got your standard HP, MP, pincer attack, rampant aura. You got your resist that always are there. And then we got the fun skills. Do keep in mind, this is for a mid-tier Shadow Knight. This is mid-game, level 25. I do plan on making a video at the end on like end-game capped level with all the skills and abilities unlocked so look forward to that this is just to help people that are in chapter 2 chapter 3 in that range that kind of wants some assistance so we got shadow break this will dispel a shadow if you haven't seen knights and other classes can put shadows on the ground that can hinder your movement block and attack all that kind of stuff and this will dispel it it can be useful in certain situations then we got Lamnant of the Dead, one of the best skills for this. It's an auto skill. Frighten enemy units within two tiles. Now, if you guys don't know what um, Frighten does, let me tell you. It's one of the best uh, debuffs in the game. Basically hinders the enemy's attack and defense considerably. Makes them hit a lot less and makes them take a lot more damage. Very useful, very good to help you clear out the enemy, weaken units, and make them less of a threat. Frighten is very good, very good. Terra Knight's really good because of Frighten. Uh, Frighten with the attack. We got the uh, Fearful Impact. 100% accuracy, always frighten the target. Cheap, only 25 MP, very good. Concentration, give you Spell Strike, which Spell Strike can be useful depending on what you're trying to do because we do get a lot of uh, debuff spells and dark spells like that, of that nature, which are in the dark category. Drain Heart, Drain Mind. And then a couple of sleep and paralytic wave. You know, here's something you can do too. If you guys don't know what, this is what I do. If you don't know what spells can go on a class, because there's so freaking many and it can be hard to remember, you click it, this class cannot equip. This class cannot equip. This class cannot equip. And this will tell you, and then like this one, this item is currently equipped on somebody else, which means this cat class can equip it, it's just somebody else has it. So that's kind of how I go through to figure out what I can equip and what not. Because just because I can use some dark doesn't mean I can use all dark magic, you know. So just about that. But anyway, and also you can just go over here onto this map. And it'll put a circle or an X depending on all the classes you have unlocked to show you uh, what can use what. Just a little tip there, you know, in case you didn't know. But anyway, the Absorb HP and the Absorb MP are both super, super good. The HP is really nice. You got a little heal. Not only does it damage the enemy, but you're healed for the amount that's damaged. So it can be super good if you can get a high damage off on that with the spell strike that you saw. Get spell strike. You know, it it just helps guarantee that's going to work. And it's super useful. The MP, if you got an enemy that's like, you know, a boss or something, or you see they got a lot of MP and they got like 40, and you're like, oh crap, they can probably do a strong move drain that mp away maybe they can't do it you can take it doesn't take a whole lot like 10 to 15 more as you level up i believe it scales but um it can be useful even for you you know you need a little bit extra mp steal it from the enemy nothing wrong with sleep and paralytic waves stun and sleep are great debuffs to have around sometimes you know you just gotta throw out those debuffs and you can do it with the terror knight so we got our finisher, Sonic Blade, Lightning Strike, level 10, level 20 on the two-hander sword category. Anybody will get these as long as they have a two-handed sword. And he can equip some of the heaviest armor in the game, which is awesome. Get that two-handed sword, get counterattack on him, super good. Now, you can build Terra Knights in a couple of ways. There's no, like, this is the meta way, this is the way to do it. You know, understand that. You know, I have another Terra Knight over here that's built different. It has a two-handed axe. 
<laughs> By different, I mean it's almost the same. It was very different. I had a crossbow in one hand, and then I kind of shied away from that. Um, I don't know if I really liked the way that worked. Not saying you can't try a one hand and a crossbow on a Terror Knight. But I tried it, and I shied away, and I switched it. Maybe go back to it. Another thing you can do is add a shield in one hand, make the Terror Knight even more tanky, make them way more durable because they have a lot of HP and they have really good vit and good defense. But they are a phenomenal unit. I recommend bringing them all the time if you can. You can even set them up for like a defensive wall with Rampart Aura and all that other stuff. As you can see, I don't have Rampart on these ones because I'm trying to make them just into fear monsters that fear everything. But that's the joy of this game. There are so, so many builds, guys. Like, I only show you, like, one or two at best. And by no means what I am doing is optimal. There probably is better ones. But at the end of the day, a lot of the builds are all viable. I tell people that ask in the comments, I go, get multiples of a unit. Because just because you have one Terra Knight doesn't mean you can't make two or three other Terra Knights completely different and fulfill a different niche, a different role in the battle, or just stack up on the same kind of build, you know? You never know. And that's what makes this game so deep, so fun, so interesting, is there's so much to experiment and try, and everybody has their favorites. And I will never tell you what I'm suggesting is the best, so don't ever think that. It's just what I'm running, so I'm just kind of... People that don't know what to run, they can kind of copy what I got if they want, or they can come up with their own, you know? And these are, like I said, mid-game builds. These are going to be way different once we're level 40, once we're in-gaming, once we got all the spells, all the skills, you know, we got the secret stuff, the... There's so much. I can't even get into it all. But that's going to be it for me. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Hopefully this video helped you out. Any questions or comments, drop them below, and I will see you guys later. Peace, guys.